What the hell are these parameters? When you are entering the field of deep learning, it's very important to understand these parameters. What are the parameters? What are output shape? How these numbers are calculated? And sometimes it could be very confusing as well, especially when you are starting your journey into deep learning. Well, you saw how I was struggling before. So in this video, we shall be talking about how these parameters are created and how these output shapes are created. So stay tuned. So this is the file I was talking about. This is the image classification problem and it's a basic MNIST data set where my input image is 28 cross 28 and it's a grayscale image. So we do just have one channel in it. Uh, normally in RGB image or in color image, we have three channels, which is R, G and B. As this is a grayscale image, we just have uh, one channel. And I'll definitely leave this uh, document, leave this file with you so that you can run it in parallel as well. I'll quickly show you how the CNN model has been created here. And then I'll quickly take you to the model dot summary. And that's where we understand more about parameters. Why do we define parameters? How does the calculation happens? Well, many people who are already into deep learning, they might already know about these things, but this video is going to be very much beneficial for people like you. If you are new to deep learning, if you are new to CNN, then definitely you can go through this. In case you don't have any understanding on convolution neural networks, I already have a two hours video on my channel, which I will also leave in the description below and in the I button so that you can go through and check it out. But I'll not be covering convolution neural networks in depth in this video. And this video is only focused on the parameters calculation. So here in this, uh, in this example, I have used a con 2D and then I have used max pooling. You can see I have used 32 filters and my kernel size is 3 cross 3. Okay. And then I have used another con 2D with max pooling. So I have used two convolution layers. And then I have flattening layers and then I have a couple of dense layers. And then we have the final uh, output layer. Okay. I'll quickly jump into. I ran this code for a very minimal 24 epochs. And upon clicking on model summary. These are the results, not great. As I told you, it's just for 24 epochs, doesn't matter. Well, here we are model dot summary. You can see this particular chart, which shows you what are the different layers that are used. As I have already told, I have used two conv layer. So conv pooling, conv pooling, and then we have flattening, then two dense layers, and then the final layer. Now, normally parameters now you can see on the right hand side the parameters 320 0 924800 normally in pooling layers or in flattening layers there are no learnable parameters and learnable parameters or just simple parameters are only there on your convolution layers or on your dense layers or on your output layers the calculation depends there are different types of calculation different ways of calculation for each and every layer when I'm saying layer, I'm, I'm, I'm basically telling that it's a conf plus pooling. Now, before getting into the calculation part, let's try to understand what are parameters. Now, parameters, what exactly is this? We already know that convolution neural network or any neural network. There are two processes. One is forward pass and one is backward pass. So basically, uh, I'll also leave you a document. I'll leave you a very good blog that is written by Rakshit Basudev. So my words might match with the blog because I'm basically going through the blog right now. So I leave that blog with you as well, where he has explained in details how the calculation happens and all those things. Now, basically the number of parameters in a given layer is the count of learnable. Assuming such a word exists, elements for a filter, also known as parameters, for the filter for that particular layer okay now parameters in general are weights now we know that when we define our hidden layers we define weights as well and what are weights weights tells you how the strength of the neurons are the connectivity parameters in general are weights that are learned during training 
they are weight matrices that contribute to model's predictive power change during back propagation process now talking about the different layers here we'll first talk about con layer and then we'll talk about output shape we already know that our input image let me just write down few things here my input image shape is 28 cross 28 cross 1 because it's a grayscale image how many filters are we using 32 filters and after convolution layer if you are using a 3 cross 3 matrix of filter or your kernel then normally it cuts down to uh, pixels from rows and high, uh, rows and columns that means height and width so your 28 cross 28 becomes 26 cross 26 simple now this is the reason why it has mentioned here 26 comma 26 comma 32 now why the parameter is 320 we'll talk about it let's first talk about our different output shapes after conf 2d i am using a max pooling now max pooling for an example i have a 8 cross 8 image let's say 1 1 1 1 6 7 8 and i'll just copy paste it for 8 rows 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 let's say this is your 8 cross 8 image and you have to perform max pooling on this so how max pooling works the first four pixels your output will be one the next four pixels this and this i'm not able to select but this two and this two will be one for this two and this two like the whole two cross two matrix it will be one and similarly for the last part it will be one and similarly going downwards this will also be the same so normally your output of your pooling is nothing but a 4 cross 4 matrix if your input is 8 cross 8 that means it is cutting down to 50 percent that is the reason here if i am using a 26 cross 26 image which is the output shape after convolution layer after pooling this will become 13 cross 13 simple and 32 is the number of filters that i am using after pooling again i am performing a convolution of 3 cross 3 matrix so again from 13 cross 13 it cuts down 2 pixels from rows and your columns that becomes 11 cross 11 and of course I am also using 32 filters in the second layer you can see this one 32 filters okay in my second layer as well so this becomes 11 cross 11 cross 32 simple after that again i am doing a pooling and then it is again cutting down to further 50 percent so it becomes 5 cross 5 again 32 filters so 5 cross 5 cross 32 and these are nothing but your you can see 800 and 128 and then 64 and then your output which is number of classes in this case it is 10 classes so it is going to be 10 now if i go back yeah okay now what exactly is 800 it is 25 cross 32 so flattening so flattening what exactly is flattening if you have a n cross n matrix that becomes a one dimensional matrix so that that can be fed to the fully connected layer right that is the reason i told you that cnn concepts are very much required for this video in case you haven't gone through it please go through my videos i already have two hours of content on cnn so that is the reason flattening is 800 and then all these are same 128 is the number of neurons that you have decided in the dense layer 64 and 10 everybody should be clear with the output shape right now we'll talk about parameters now parameters in a conv layer the formula is here shape of width of your filter in this case let me just copy paste this formula shape of width of filter x let me just write down here 
शेप ऑफ वेथ ऑफ एक्स लेट मी जस्ट डू दिस वे ओके शेप ऑफ वेट ऑफ फिल्टर वॉट इज द वेट ऑफ फिल्टर थ्री बिकॉज इट्स ए थ्री क्रॉस थ्री फिल्टर वट इज द शेप ऑफ हाइट थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड विथ नंबर ऑफ फिल्टर्स मल्टीप्लाइड विथ थर्टी टू इन द ओके मल्टीप्लाइड विथ नंबर ऑफ फिल्टर्स इन द प्रीवियस लेयर सो इन दिस केस देर आर नो प्रीवियस लेयर्स सो दिस इज नथिंग यू जस्ट इग्नोर इट ओके प्लस वन सो प्लस वन इन द ब्रैकेट्स मल्टीप्लाइड विथ नंबर ऑफ फिल्टर्स इन योर एग्जिस्टिंग लेयर हाउ मेनी फिल्टर्स थर्टी टू दिस बिकम्स थ्री इंटू थ्री नाइन प्लस वन टेन इंटू थर्टी टू बिकम्स थ्री ट्वेंटी हाउ अबाउट फॉर द सेकेंड लेयर फॉर द सेकेंड कॉन्वोल्यूशन लेयर शेप ऑफ विथ ऑफ फिल्टर थ्री अगेन थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड विथ थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड विथ नंबर ऑफ फिल्टर्स इन द प्रीवियस लेयर इन द प्रीवियस लेयर देर वेर थर्टी टू फिल्टर्स सो मल्टीप्लाइड विथ थर्टी टू प्लस वन आई एल गिव अ ब्रैकेट एंड देन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ नंबर ऑफ फिल्टर्स इन योर करेंट लेयर हाउ मेनी थर्टी टू दिस बिकम्स थर्टी टू विच बिकम्स थ्री क्रॉस थ्री नाइन नाइन क्रॉस थर्टी टू इज टू एटी एट प्लस वन इज टू एटी नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ थर्टी टू दिस बिकम्स नाइन टू फोर एट क्लियर विद द कॉन्वोल्यूशन पार्ट नाउ मैक्स पुलिंग विल बी जीरो बिकॉज देर आर नो parameters involved in pooling layers or in flattening layers we'll talk about dense layers why we have a number like this in dense layers your calculation is very simple this is nothing but your current layer neurons multiplied with your previous layer neurons plus your current layer neurons if i just do a calculation here this becomes 128 multiplied with 800 plus 128 which becomes 102528 you can just check it out 128 multiplied with 800 whatever it is plus 128 this becomes this number okay similarly for this layer it will be 64 multiplied with 128 plus 64 this becomes 8256 and for this one 64 multiplied with 10 640 Plus ten six hundred fifty, simple. And if you add all of them, all these parameters, this, 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 you will get that total parameters is this, and all are your trainable parameters. Again, one concept. Again, one uh, alarm that what exactly are trainable parameters and what is non-trainable parameters. Well, talking about trainable and non-trainable, the simplest answer is that when you are normally when you are defining your layers there is a parameter called as trainable which means do you want to train your parameters in that particular layer if by default it is false so if you don't define anything that means all your parameters are trainable parameters but if you define in your dense layer there is a property called as trainable equals to false which is basically done here whenever you are defining here let's say you want to define it here trainable equals to false which basically means that in this layer there will be no training happening so weights will not be updated okay so in keras i have already mentioned here that in keras non trainable parameters as shown in model dot summary means the number of weights that are not updated during training with back propagation if you don't want to train then do trainable false now i have already passed on this link which basically is the blog which explains this understanding and calculating the number of parameters in depth mr rakshit vasudev i'll also leave his link leave his linkedin link in the description below in case you want to get connected with him so of course i have already explained what has been explained in this particular blog that's all about this particular video if you like the content please like share and subscribe the channel it takes a lot of time and uh, basically time uh, not much of uh, money is involved in creating videos but it takes a lot of time in doing such research work and come up uh, come up with some topics like this so please appreciate uh, the videos by liking the videos 
and it's a request if you comment the comment on the videos that helps me to grow because based on the comments the videos are being recommended to other users as well that's all about this particular topic as you have already seen that i am already creating some playlists on business statistics and there are some good news as well um well i'll just give you a glimpse of the good news is that i'm going to make the entire machine learning uh i'm, I'm basically creating contents for machine learning end to end that's going to be around uh 30 to 40 hours of materials and i'm going to launch videos very soon on machine learning so in case you are new to machine learning then you are going to get a lot of contents in the near future as well that's all about this particular video in case you like it please like share and subscribe i don't want to repeat it again and again and that's it from my side thank you Bye bye